This what you're looking at is the calculation for the word sword. When you take the letters of the word sword, change them into numbers and multiply them, clearly you make out 15,120. Clearly you make out the year 2015. Similar to the word world and the word devils. It's embedded inside the words and mathematical calculations. It's embedded inside the word sword. It's embedded inside every word of that God uses to show the meaning behind the words. The numbers give you the meaning behind the words and the meaning behind the word sword spelled S-W-O-R-D is clearly 2015. Like as the word world and the like as the word devils. Here you see the word sword S-W-O-R-D and clearly in the word sword one can easily make out the year Israel became an, a nation in 1948. That was 66, 67 years ago, since 2015. Clearly, you can make out the number 44. And clearly, everyone knows that's the number for the Barack Obama 44th president. But clearly what I want to show you is this year, 2000, 2015, in the calculation, 67 years after Israel became a nation, since 1948, and about 238 or 239 years after the United States, who in 1776 became a nation, and this is Clay, the 44th president, who's 53 years old, who was born August 4th, 1961. So clearly, you know I'm talking about Barack Obama, who's the 44th president, who's 53 years old this year, who was Clay born in 1961. And this year, God, is bringing his sword against the nations, clearly against the United States, against Israel. You see, you can clearly make out all the years that Abraham lived, 175, and all the years that Jacob lived, 147, or 147. Mm. And this word sword is showing you this year 2015 all the animosity that the 44th president has against the nation of israel since 1948 prior to him being born in 1961 he has a lot of animosity against the nation of israel but this year god's going to come with a sword against america and america will be no more the nation of israel will be no more And this is the word sword. Live by the sword, die by the sword. It's a saying of Jesus quoted in the Bible to the fact that if you use violence or other harsh means against other people, you can expect to have those same means used against you. You can expect to become a victim of whatever means you use to get what you want. That goes for the nations of the world, including America. The saying comes from the Gospel of Matthew, verse 26, 52, which describes a disciple identified in the Gospel of John as Simon Peter, who draws a sword to defend against the arrest of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, but is rebuked by Jesus who tells him to sheath the weapon. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword unto his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Matthew 26. Verse 52, King James Version. Live by the sword, die by the sword. There's also the message to ISIS.
who's beheading Christians. Truly, I showed you in one of my previous videos that God will get rid of ISIS this year. God and angels will destroy ISIS. And clearly, those who live by the sword will die by the sword. Surely in Revelation chapter 19 verse 21, King James Version, And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, but sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So truly the word sword is connected with the book of Revelations and the end of the world. Surely in Revelation 19 15 it says, And out of his mouth go over two a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations. He that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. He that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. Truly God is coming dear 2015 with his sword. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made overflowing with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, the year recompense for the cause of Zion. The sword is often a symbol of God's judgment. David writes in Psalm 7, chapter 7, verse 12, If the wicked does not turn back, he, God, will sharpen his sword. In Isaiah chapter 34, verse 6 and 8, In the context of day of the Lord, God combines the sword of judgment with the idea of sacrifice and slaughter. The verse I previously read. The horseman's great sword is a translation of Mashira Megali. Again, this is not the ordinary sword of war, Ramphia, but a short sword or long knife like a dagger. Frequently, Mashira is the knife used to prepare sacrifice or to slaughter an animal for food. It is also the sword worn by magistrates and executioners that the red horseman sword is great Megali means either that it is larger or longer than usual or that it's highly effective in doing its job surprisingly when fear appears in revelation 6 6 and power is given to the four horsemen to kill with sword with hunger with death a great sword then is the equivalent of a thoroughly effective instrument of death and you clearly, I showed you in this video that the word sword is 2015. Take heed. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just showing you pictures. Showing you that I'm talking about the word sword. I bless, I bless, I bless.